Squad back with another video. Y'all see we got Dave Chappelle 3 a.m. in the ghetto. Y'all have been requesting this because we've been hitting on some Cat Williams and y'all wanted some more Dave Chappelle in this thing. So we definitely gonna put it out there. If y'all definitely ready, go ahead and jump in this video. Y'all already know what it is, you feel me? Y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all subscribe and hit that like button. Let's go ahead and jump in this video, y'all. It's too much pressure. That's my problem. I can't, I can't handle pressure. Sometimes pressure make me talk different. I'm serious. You ever have like that social pressure? You ever talk to somebody who's fake and they make you fake? Like, they come and be like, hey, how you doing? And you're like, fine, how are you? And you're like, I don't even talk like that. I get sick of that shit. I do, it just makes me sick. Sometimes I'll talk crazy just to make myself feel better. You ever do that? Just start talking like crazy. Like, you ever hear this voice? Man. That's, that's how bad guys used to talk in the 40s. In the old days. See, I, used, I talk like that. Not all the time, but if somebody put the pressure on me, fuck it, I gotta, I gotta cut loose. <laughs> and if the police pull me over, I'll talk crazy. Son, son. Do you know why we pulled you over? Nah, because I'm black, see? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, Damien be doing that? For real? Yeah, Damien do that shit. For yeah. real. I do it. It's not illegal to talk like that. How do they know I don't talk like that every day? Stop talking like that. Stop talking like white copper. Nah. That's how I talk, see? You gotta make life interesting like that, cause the shit is flimsy. Life is flimsy. You, you think you're gonna live forever, but I gonna live forever. It's hmm. dangerous out here. We know what's going on. I travel now. You know, I used to think D.C. had the roughest ghettos in the country. Nah, nigga. Uh -uh. <laughs> but I have seen some shit now. <laughs> oh, there's some rough, rough areas outside of D.C. Yeah, everybody should go to the ghetto. I was taken to the ghetto one time. That's the worst. When you get taken and you're not expecting to go. You know, usually you want to know when you go in the ghetto, like, I'm going to see some wild shit. I got to prepare myself. I'm going to see something crazy. When you're taken, it's different. I had a limousine driver. It was after a show. It was late at night. It was like 3 in the morning. I had a limousine driver. He was a nice guy talking to me and shit. Oh, hey, where you from, dog? D.C.? Where? That's a rough city, man. And the cell phone started ringing. Hold on one second. Hello? Oh, what's up, nigga? What? What the fuck? Slow down. What? What the fuck? <laughs> no! 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 Fuck that, nigga. Fuck it. I'm on my way. <laughs> hey. I gotta make a stop real quick. At 3 o'clock in the morning. I didn't know he was taking me to the ghetto at first. I started looking out the window. I was like, what the fuck? Gun store, gun store, liquor store, gun store. Where the fuck are you taking me? Bro, I would have told him politely, bro. Hey, I'm going to just go on here. You feel me? Call somebody else. Actually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, call here. somebody else for me. This don't look good. He didn't say shit. Just pulled up in front of an old rickety building that looked like a project. Now, I've never been there before. I'm not sure if it was a project, but... It certainly had all the familiar symptoms of a project. <laughs> a, a fucking crackhead ran this way. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then another one jumped out of a tree and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I'll be right back. <laughs> and left me. Took the keys with me, just left me. At three o'clock in the morning, in front of a project, in a fucking limousine. <laughs> this was not good. I was like, man, I got to look around and see if I can see some landmarks and figure out where I'm at. I might have to escape on foot. <laughs> now, this is when I knew I was in a bad neighborhood. You only see this in the worst neighborhoods. Remember, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I look out the window. It was a fucking baby standing on a corner. Mm. <laughs> 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 and the baby, the baby didn't even look scared. He was just standing there. 
<laughs> That's because a lot of babies in the projects, they used to that shit though, because like Yeah, they already know. Yeah, like I, I literally I got cousins. This real shit. I got cousins that I remember like they used so young. Like I'm talking about young, like think about it. My little brother, how old is he? About thirteen? Thirteen or so. Uh well fourteen. I think he's 13, 14, shit, I don't know. I'll be forgetting. Shit, it's seven of us. Uh <laughs> damn. <laughs> but uh my my younger brother, well he Sean like what, six, six, he about to be seventeen. Yeah. Um, so my other brother, y'all gotta realize, I got I got I know y'all a lot of y'all do at home too. They're like six, seven years old, and they be going anywhere and everywhere, to the store, to you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Young as hell. Matter of fact, her little brother just got in trouble. Uh, how old is your little brother? Uh, eight. Eight years old. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I know he ain't black or nothing, but shit. It, these, these, the new kids, they different, bro. I swear to God, they different. And it kind of used to be damn near like, like different back in the day. But I used to get in trouble when I used to go to like shit like that. I used to get in trouble. Like, we was bad, you know what I'm saying? We, but these kids different breed now. Though. Like, they, they do whatever. I'm talking about do whatever. You know what I'm saying? They got a bicycle, they going wherever. You know what I'm saying? I got cuz that go wherever. I used to get in trouble for that shit. I used to sneak, you know what I'm saying, and go go little places and shit like that. And try not to get caught and shit. But I used to get in trouble with that shit like bad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Some of these days. parents they be they be letting their kids, you know what I'm saying, go wherever and do whatever. Yeah. These days. Yeah, it's a little bit different. It's like it's almost like a lot of these like young parents shit, we not, y'all don't play this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But, pretty, but um like on some real shit though, these parents, some of these parents act like they, they kids friends. Like I'm, I'm some real shit though. Like I'm just like I, I be saying like I trust me. I got cousin all this shit that be you know what I'm saying some real shit. I mean it made me sad. It made me sad really. You know what I mean? Cause I want to help the baby. <laughs> well, like, mm, I don't trust you either. I'm sorry. Click. Click. <laughs> the old baby on the corner trick, eh? <laughs> <laughs> not gonna fall for that shit. Where's this limousine driver? You know, I stop feeling bad. As time goes by, I start feeling worse. Like, man, what is wrong with me? What the hell is wrong? I'm scared of a baby. <laughs> and this baby could be in trouble. He might need my help. I gotta do something. But I wasn't gonna get out the car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, man. I just cracked the window a little bit. There's an old limousine, I can roll it down. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> baby, go home, man. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck are you doing up? <laughs> the baby said, I'm selling weed, nigga. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to buy two bags from the call miner. Let me get two, let me get two. <laughs> Got back in the car and rolled me a joint, man. So that shit was scary, man. Every once in a while, like a crackhead would come up to the car and look in the window. It was like Jurassic Park and shit. He'd be looking on the car. <laughs> hey, get out of here, cracky. That baby was still standing there, man. That's what it I start feeling bad again. Yeah, weed make you feel guilty sometimes. You know. Man, what is wrong with me, man? I have just bought weed from, a, from an infant. I can't condone this kind of behavior. What am I thinking? I can't let the fear ruin my morals. Gotta do something. Hey, baby. Stop selling weed, all right? You got your whole life ahead of you. He said, fuck you, nigga. I got kids to feed. I said, God, dang. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> and just at that very moment, one of the crackheads was running across the street and got hit by a car. I know it was a hit and run. The police did it. 
It's all right. They sprinkled some crack on him. He got back up. <laughs> <laughs> he funny though. Hey, y'all gotta y'all gotta hit us with some more uh, Dave Chappelle. You feel me in the comments? Yeah, yeah fact. You know what I'm saying? I wonder. I wonder how long ago this was. You know what I'm saying? Usually had a little date in the title, but I guess not. Uh, but comment down some more. Appreciate y'all for tuning in with us and watching our reaction today. Chappelle, 3 a.m. in the ghetto. Y'all already know what it is. Make sure you subscribe and y'all new to the channel. Hit that like button, you feel me? And if y'all want more Dave Chappelle or any other comedian, make sure y'all comment down below. Catch y'all next one.